Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. It is Friday, we are finally ending the week up with this Lunala, Groudon, Mega Lopunny, Mega Mawile, Gastrodon and Tepe Coco team that we've been playing throughout this week. And coming Monday we'll be starting with our brand new Road to, to Ranked Roulette Series. So I have been saying all week about this new series that will be starting on Monday. It's going to be very much very similar to what we're doing at the minute, we're going to be playing on the ladder, playing two to three games a day, but we'll be playing with a team that is selected by you guys. So if you'd like to nominate a Pokemon for us to play, put together in a wacky six of random Pokemon for next week's series starting, do go over to our community post, nominate a Pokemon. It could be anything restricted, non-restricted, anything that's legal in the VGC 2019 format. It can be anything from Caterpie right the way up to Mega Mewtwo Y or Mega Mewtwo X, whatever you fancy. There is a po wow, there's just so many Pokemon you can pick from. Pick your favorites though. So hopefully yours comes out. But yes, we'll be starting that Monday. We'll be wrapping up with this team today. It is the uh, North American International Championships kicking off today though. So very exciting and uh, just a big Good luck to all the players going over to play in that competition. I hope you all have an amazing tournament. Have a great time the weekend. Be safe and just enjoy playing Pokemon and being around other fans of the franchise. It's always very fun doing that sort of thing. So I'll be hopefully catching some of it over the weekend, depending on how Thea is and if she enjoys it or not. So I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. <laughs> but yes, it'll be great to come back on Monday and have a look and discuss some of those things with you. But... Getting on to today's team, as always, the team is down in the description below. There's a raw pace, poke pace. Try it out. If you do, let me know. And with further ado, let's jump into today's episode. Let's change screens. Let's see what our rating is. Remember the ladder reset a couple of days ago, didn't it? So um, let's click some music in. And across my version 2, why not? Let's go out with style. Um, and I'm a bit nervous about this new Road to Rank Roulette series. I really am. As excited as I've been saying I am all week, I'm really nervous about it because um, I'm, I'm worried in case it just nose bombs. But at the same time, I think to myself, well, if I try it and it fails, at least I've tried. And that's a good lesson I think we should all live by. There's no harm in trying things. I'm hoping it's gonna be a success and I hope you guys enjoy it, so. Like, we'll just have to see. We'll try it out and see what happens. But we've got a first opponent of the episode. So we'll hop over into Team Preview. So our first opponent today is running a team of Stack Attacker, Kyogre, Gengar, Rayquaza, Incineroar, and Tapu Koko. So likely we've got two Megas on this team. One is potentially that Mega Gengar, which makes up a really nice call with the Stack Attacker, the Kyogre, and that Incineroar. There you've got a really slow... Trick Room mode there with the Stack Attacker, the Kyogre, and then you've got that really nice support option with the Fake Out, Intimidate, and Slow Pivot with that Incineroar that complements that Mega Gengar so well. And then on the flip side of things, you've got that combination really fast defensive mode with the the Rayquaza there, the Tapu Koko as well, and then the Rayquaza obviously going to be the Mega in this variant, and then the Kyogre to really bounce off that, which does give our Groudon element of the team a lot of trouble. But... Um, one of the things we do have to help us out, especially, is Tapu Koko, and the other one is Lopunny. Mega Lopunny gets scrappy, so we can fake out that Gengar if we so choose to. Um, the other thing is we can bring Lunala as well to this match. I think Lunala can be pretty good here. Um, and I do feel like Groudon can be good. we just got to be careful about getting ourselves locked in those horrible positions where... Gengar's out and Kyogre's on the field and we're locked in the rain because that would be the worst. So we'll see what we can do. It's a good team to kick us off with today. You know, I was thinking in yesterday's episode, I was like, I mm, haven't played many, much Kyogre this week. Much opposing Kyogre. So like magic, we bump into Kyogre. Hopefully we can come out on top. It would be good if we can. Um, but yes, yeah. Talking about the roulette series again, I am pretty nervous about it. I'm hoping you guys enjoy it, support it, and do like it. I'm pulling out a lot of stops for this as well. I've got a really cool roulette wheel animation that we can we can select the Pokemon from. It's like a tiny portion of the episode as well. It's like the selecting of the team that we'll use every other week. Um, but we will bring it back for the other things, the other bits to add on to this series to make it a bit more fun. Where you've got rules and regulations around it. So we've got. 
Uh, Mega Gengar and Incineroar. Um, is Gengar going to protect here? Is it going to protect? Or could I just get some decent damage onto Incineroar? I can go Volt Switch into that slot and Mega Evolve and fake out that slot. I'm kind of tempted just to do that, to be honest. I could fake out the Gengar. Uh, we are risking potentially losing the speed tie to that Mega Gengar if it does stay in an attack. Um, I don't know if it will. I think it might protect. Well, we're not going to see that. Hopefully Pepper Coco doesn't lose. It's not even Mega Evolving, though. That's odd. Get some nice damage onto that Incineroar and preserve Coco for later. Um, hmm. Because it hasn't Mega Evolved, I mean, I'm going to bring in Groudon. If we do see a Sludge Bomb from that side, Groudon is going to take it a lot better than anything else we've got on the back end. Plus, I don't really want to bring Lunala onto the field when uh, we're just needlessly breaking that Shadow Shield on Groudon's a tank in his, in his own right, so he can take a Sludge Bomb if that's what we see. So we get Groudon in, get the Sun up. I think then the one thing that we have to do is make sure that we do switch the Groudon out this next turn. Um, Gengar going for a Sludge Bomb, it is into that slot. Okay, so Groudon, we don't want to get trapped in. Um, we don't want to fall stray of anything like that. So what I'm going to do is bring, hmm, do we bring Tapu Koko back in? Yeah, I think I do, and I'm going to go for a low kick into Incineroar and that will pick up the knockout onto the Incineroar from Low Pony. We are minus one remember the Intimidate has been fired off but we will be able to make nice handy work of that Incineroar and get Coco back onto the field as well just in case that Gengar does Mega Evolve. Um, I surprised it didn't to be honest um, already but I feel like with the Groudon out now it's kind of too tempting for my opponent not to Mega Evolve. Um, and if the Gra the Gengar does protect here, then we can lock it in to that protect the next turn with our Encore. Um, and with Coco coming in, we've got a nice Thunderball or Volt Switch into a potential Kyogre that comes in on that Incineroar slot. Oh, if with the Incineroar goes down here. Um, yeah, no Mega Evolve from the Gengar again. Might not even be Mega Gengar, we might just be guessing here the whole time. Uh, Shadow Ball coming out this time into Tapu Koko. Okay. Well, if it isn't Mega Gengar, you, we know for a fact that uh, Coco is going to outspeed it every time anyway. So we haven't actually seen it protect yet either, which is interesting. We do take the Incineroar down to a low kick. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what we see come in. Could it be Rayquaza, which would be a little bit problematic with that extreme speed, for sure. But we'll just wait. we'll just wait. Maybe Rayquaza hasn't even been brought. Maybe it's Kyogre. But if it's Kyogre, do you want to bring Kyogre in right now? Ah, it's Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko, hidden field. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, Groudon coming in right now is pretty nice, isn't it? Do we risk this beat tie though? Yeah, I'm gonna actually just go discharge, and I'm gonna bring in Groudon on low Pony. It's not the best thing to do in these situations. Um, generally, we probably would have been better Volt Switching out. But the draw of the Discharge is just too much. Um, and it would be nice to keep Lil Pony in the back four later when we can bring it back and utilize that fake out once again. Uh, we still got Lunala in the back as well, which might be the thing that kind of wins us this game, really. Um, we could lose a speed tie to the opposing Tapu Koko here, which wouldn't be ideal. But they may not risk the speed tie. And imagine we see a dozen gleam though, and a sludge bomb come out. So we'll get Groudon in. We win a speed tie. We do. We win it. Or maybe the Tapu Koko on the other side of the field is just slower than us. Uh, we did take the Gengar. It's revealing. Wow. Double crit. This is why Discharge is so good, but that's not so great for my opponent. Doesn't gleam, it will take our Coco down. And we'll probably see another Sludge Bomb from the Gengar into Groudon now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, it does pick up the poison, which isn't ideal. Um, 
But we can bring Lop Honey in. Alright, I think we just fake out Gengar. Earth Power Coco. We'll probably take a Dazzling Gleam. Groudon will take the Dazzle. Um, okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to clear the field here though. I mean, if we can, we can take both these down. I think the game's... We can wrap this game up pretty pretty easily. Uh, especially if Kyogre's the last Pokemon in the back, which you've got to imagine it is. Gets a bit more tricky if it's Rayquaza. Um, the nice thing here is though we've got the Encore, where we can oh, fake out who's disabled. How dare you, Gengar. Um, it will be Kyogre, for sure. But we can lock Coco in to protect. But if we do that... Oh, it is Rayquaza. Okay. Hmm. I, I honestly prefer Ray coming in now to... Um, to Kyogre. We'll Encore and we will go for an Earth Part into Coco. We can get rid of that and just have the Rayquaza to deal with. It makes things so much easier. It really does. But I think Lunala will be able to deal with the Rayquaza by itself. There's the Ray Mega Evolving. That's the Ray's got like Earthquake. Could have. So it's activating that Delta Stream. There's the Encore. I'm not going to say any extreme speed to come out. Coco gone for the Protect, Dragon Ascent. Hopefully it's into Lop Honey. Yeah, and then we'll get the Earth Power into the Coco. Pick up the Knockout there. Lop Honey doing more than its fair share of work here. Uh, yeah, and Life Orb. Okay, that's fine. So we can just trick room and then Moonguys beam it for the win. And it's really got a Dragon Ascent. Alunala. Um, like it has to. We'll take at least one Dragon Ascent. And I think the minus two at that point puts it probably into Moonguys beam range. Um, so trick room in here is probably the better call, I think. Especially when it can't, can't extreme speed Lunala, which is a big plus, and it doesn't seem to be something that carries that. I don't know though. You can't really ever discount what Rayquaza has got or hasn't got. Um, but we'll eruption with Groudon just to try and get a bit of damage onto it. But Lunala coming in, being able to do the work in this first game today, which is excellent, excellent. Right, there's the Dragon Ascent. It is Life Orb, remember. It is going to be doing a lot of damage. The Shadow Shield really helping us out. I don't think we'll take another Dragon Ascent, so we've got to uh, we've got to like get it with the, the Moon Guys being this next turn once we get the Trick Room up. <laughs> Pitiful attempt, Groudon, but it's all it's all for the cause, isn't it? Uh, because of minus two. Groudon goes down to the poison. Um, yeah, and you just gotta hope now that we, we are able to take it down. Um, I mean, probably, we, we could have probably just Moonguys beamed and the Rayquaza of the turn previous and been in the same sort of situation. We, we have the Phytinium Z on it, so the Z move here is not gonna be very, very useful. Just got to hold my Moonguys Beam. It's minus two special defense. So, yeah. 
it's gonna try and stall out the trick room, but I mean you're gonna need three four protects to get through this. And I just don't see that happening, unfortunately. Mr. Ray. Funny if my opponent goes for it though. I mean, why not? Why not go for it? I've never seen four protects in a row. Now nah, we're not gonna see it. There's a moment of truth. Can the Moon Guys beam be enough to pick up this Rayquaza? Minus two. That's all I'm telling myself. It's minus two. Should be enough. It's enough. It's enough. Lunala. Big Bird doing all the work. Very good game to my opponent. And uh, nice to kick off with a win today. So that's really good. We'll hop over to our other screen. And um, well, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. Um, ah. That was a that was a, a nerve biting end to that one. It was, but uh, nonetheless, a very good one. And um, it's a bit sad, like briefly just playing Lunala Groudon to end the week up. But um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this new series. We might come back to. Um, I hope we don't come back to regular School of Hard Knocks daily battle series. I really do hope that we can kind of continue on with this mad. Mad roulette series, or we might get to the point where we just do a roulette series once in a week and carry on with these these battle series. But I feel like like with the end of the season coming up now, it's kind of it's, it's a good time to do it, isn't it? So we've got our next opponent of the episode, and uh, we'll hop straight into team preview. It's another Kyogre. After we haven't seen them, they come and they come and they come. So we're going to see a really kind of standard looking team. There's a little variation on it than what you'd normally see. You normally see a stack attacker in this kind of build, but you're going to see the Eveltal, uh, definitely Mega Gengar in this team. There isn't any other option of a Mega here. We're going to see Primal Kyogre, uh, Tapu Lele, uh, Togodomaru, and the Ferrothorn. So primarily, you're really kind of looking at your opponent taking advantage of um, the probably nuzzle on Togodomaru as one of the, the options of speed control and then Tailwind on Evelta. So a trick room here could be extremely good. The big problem is, are we going to be able to utilize our, our trick room? Because um, one of the issues we've got with that is uh, Evelta can shut down a Lunala pretty hard. Um, do we bring Tapu Koko? I'm really kind of tempted to bring Tapu Koko here, even though we are seeing Toba Namaru up top. Um, it's just because it will overwrite the terrain from the Lele if they do decide to lead it, which, which they may not actually. Um, what we could do is go Low Pony, more while, go Tapu Koko. It means leaving Lunala. I don't know how. How good I feel about leaving Lunala, but I don't want to fall into the trap where we need to have a goal where they can switch in Lele and then they can do shenanigans from there and block our fake out. If we have Mobile out, it's going to be the slowest thing aside from the Ferrothorn, which will allow us to get the switch and we get an intimidate off onto the um, Eveltal as well to shut down that potential. Tailwind turn one, and the other thing is, like with Mawile, we've got Sucker Punch as well, so that's kind of nice, and it's boosted by that Eveltal right now. The only problem is, if nah, like if we keep Mawile in, we're pretty stuck because um, we can't switch out with Low Pony or anything like that. I mean, at the same time, is it is it gonna have Oblivion Wing? Is it? Do we just sit in front of these two? What What is the worst thing that could happen if we stay in and suck a punch? I mean, Lele could come in for the gang for the the Veltal. I don't really feel like it does though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and we've brought we brought two, so we can't mega evolve. I'm gonna actually have to just fake out, and I can't. I've run out of time, <laughs> and I haven't mega with either. I just realized I brought both Megas to this game. It's a problem. It's a big problem, my friends. Yveltal protects. Okay, come on. Gengar's not protecting, though. That's one for substitute. No, we don't like that. 
Okay. Please break this sub. Please break the sub. <laughs> we are so we are so lucky. We are so lucky. I am just saying this right now. Uh, now we can mega evolve. What's better? Do we mega evolve with Law Pony and? Hmm. Or do we not? And on call the Velto, and then go. No, Lord Pony should uh, No, Lord Pony is 1 of 5, so it will outspeed. It will outspeed Ivalta. So we can encore it regardless. And we can Mega Evolve with Mawile. And um, I think we just Iron Head the Gengar here. In case it goes for the sub again. Mm, the problem is now Lele coming in. Oh, Ferrothorn. I don't mind too much. I don't think the Gengar goes for an attack here because of the threat of Sucker Punch from Mawile. Although I could be completely wrong. Okay, now we can't we can't encore Gengar this next turn. Hmm, I think you do go for uh, we well we can we can definitely low kick that Ferrothorn. Um and do we sucker punch the Gengar this time? Feel like you just substitute again. No, I'm just gonna iron head. There's no harm in iron heading. Yeah, it's just gonna sub. We don't want to get call out. We really don't. Low kick. I mean, it's pretty pitiful the damage there, but this is what you get for bringing two megas and not. <clears throat> yeah. That's gyrable. Where are we going? Low pony? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we actually take it. We take it. Okay. Right, let's see. I want to sucker punch. I want to sucker punch the Gengo now. I really do. Uh, I really do want to sucker punch Gengo now. I feel like it's going to go for it. I'm going to sucker punch it. If it goes for a sub, we're screwed, but. Nah, just, just protecting. Okay. I thought I'm protecting as well. Huh. Okay, well we can definitely encore the Ferrothorn into protect if we would like to. I just I probably think the Ferrothorn switches out here. Um and the Gengar goes for another substitute. Um let's encore Gengar. And iron headed again. I mean, this is the ultimate double bluff where my opponent thinks, okay, well, they're not going to sucker punch again now. Um, I mean, one of the things we could definitely just do is go for a low kick and an iron head. It's pretty, it's it's a lot safer. Yeah, it's just going for the sub again. And we'll probably go down to and bomb damage and Bob. Yeah. I'm pretty take a gyro ball with. Um, we could have encored the Ferrothorn for sure. But the Moal doing a good job of checking this Gengar, definitely, uh, which is which is nice. Uh, Leech Seed, okay. Uh, problem. With, mm, 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 mm. Kind of want to get Groudon in, but at the same time, getting Groudon in. It's just gonna bait in the Kyogre, really, isn't it? Uh, it's better getting Coco onto the field, I think. Because at least with um, Coco, we can we kind of check in the Gengar the whole time. Uh, we could double the Ferrothorn here, to be honest. We could go Volt Switch and. Play rough. Mm, Iron Head. It might be better if you flinch it. And hope that that Gengar, yeah, protects here. That's fine. But we're kind of back in this situation where we've got Groudon to come in. We're not going to be able to. I mean, it depends what we can do to the Ferrothorn. It's got Leech Seed. It's got 
left off as it's a real pain to deal with. Especially when my opponent definitely has <coughs> Kyogre in the back. I mean, if we can Iron Head flinch the Ferro on here, that will help us out a bunch. That does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. Is it just a gyro ball? Okay. Right, well, Precipice Blades is definitely something we can utilize here. Because that probably takes down the Ferrothorn, I'd imagine. And, um. Do we just suck a punch again the game got? Because it could sub. I'm just gonna iron head again. Oh, we've iron headed Ferrothorn. I've just clicked in way too quick. Oh, you're such a fool. Such a fool! Yeah, it goes for the Shadow Ball here. We could have sucker punched. Oh, come on. This, like, that's my own fault. It's my own fault for doing this. Um, right. Let's get this Pharah with Eruption. And get this Gengar with Sucker Punch. It's the wrong time to do this, though, now. I feel like we're going, going downhill now. But just had, if it'd been a bit slower with that selection. Yeah, we're gonna see Kyogre come in. No, oh, you've all, okay. Do we get the sucker punch though? I think this is far too far gone now. This Gengar's done so much work. Um, I'm going to play rough the Evel tool. We've got the opportunity. To, I think the Gengar probably substitutes here. I think. Shadow Ball. Oh, it goes into Garden. Okay. Tailwind. Well, I kind of don't mind that either because at the end of the day. Well, I do mind it actually because the Kyogre comes in and now it's really difficult for us to deal with and I don't think we've got enough turns to stall. <sighs> mm. To stall out, to allow Coco to come back in and put crowd on being... Uh, yeah. Like the Gengar doesn't even need to attack now. Hmm. Nah, I don't think we can win this one. We will precipice blades and we will sucker punch. But I think it's it's pretty much over. There's not really much we can do to maneuver around here. We'll get the sucker punch into the Kyogre. I mean, it does some di decent damage. There's a substitute from the Gengar. Water spout will be enough to get both. Yeah. And then Coco coming in. And because we are specs and we cannot protect. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Which is a bit unfortunate. But my opponents played it really well with the Gengar, you know. Uh, we definitely had our opportunities where we could have... Um, we could have dealt with it. But I think the biggest problem, obviously bringing two Megas and only being able to Mega 1 was the, the first thing. Uh, if you thought about this a bit more in, in Team Preview, it might have worked out all right. But... Sludge Bomb should be enough to get the cork off from here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, very good game to my opponent. Uh, it just shows very well played Gengar, to be honest, uh, with the substitute. And it's it's really strong. Um, and it's still a big threat in this format. And I think it will continue to be as long as Mega Gengar is around. So, very good game to my opponent today, uh, yesterday, and all week. And 
that we've had and uh, guys i hope you've enjoyed today's episode it's been really fun and uh, exciting we'll be back on monday but with the road to rank roulette series so make sure before the deadline cuts off at 12 this evening you've got your nominated pokemon in because i will be selecting the pokemon getting them ready prepared for monday um over the weekend so have a great evening have a great weekend enjoy the north american international championships if you do check them out over this weekend i hope whoever you're rooting for does well and uh, i hope you just enjoy the whole event they've got a great cast um of casting team if that's even how we're pronouncing it now uh casting the event over the weekend too many casts there but uh, never mind anyway have a great one guys thank you so much for tuning in i'll catch you all on monday for the new series which is going to be really exciting so until then take care and bye bye